Hey, it's Joey for Digital DJ Tips, and right now we're gonna take a look at the Mini Rig Mini. This is a portable, battery-powered Bluetooth speaker that fits in the palm of your hand. Look at how tiny this thing is. Now, apart from the Bluetooth connection, it also has input jacks for a wired connection in case you wanna connect it, say, to your DJ controller if you're on the go. Now, in the short talk through, we're gonna do two things. First up, I'm gonna give you a features rundown of the Mini Rig Mini, and then I'm gonna give you my thoughts on it. Let's go. The Mini Rig Mini is a portable Bluetooth battery powered speaker that gets you over 10 hours of use on a single charge. It's got a 52mm speaker driver on board and it has three sockets. One is the power socket for charging the speaker and the other two are 8th inch sockets for high gain and low gain input. And they also double as stereo link jacks for connecting other Mini Rig speakers. Bluetooth connectivity on board means you can pair this with your smartphone or tablet for listening to music, podcasts, and other casual use scenarios. But what's great about it is that it's also got 8th inch jacks for hooking up your DJ controller via a wired connection. That means you can practice mixing without any latency or lag in the playback, which is what you'd normally hear when you mix through a Bluetooth connection. The Mini Rig Mini can get quite loud and it's got an onboard limiter that prevents the speaker from distorting at loud volumes, though you do get a bit of that squished sound as a result. The overall sound of the Mini Rig Mini is bright with sizzling highs and bass that you can hear instead of feel, which is to be expected of a consumer speaker of this size and price. All right, so what are my thoughts on the Mini Rig Mini? Well, the first thing I liked about it is its size. Look at how small this thing is. It's like a hockey puck, only smaller and maybe a little bit thicker. But yeah, basically it's really, really small. And I practically take this with me wherever I go. And just so you have a clear idea of what I mean by that, here's what a typical workday for me is like. So I'll wake up in the morning around half 10 or 11. Yes, I'm a night owl. And uh, I've got this by my bedside table. It's charging using uh, the supplied USB power cord. I go down to my writing desk. I set this on top of it and I listen to tunes. And since it's Bluetooth and battery powered, that means it keeps my desktop wire free and clutter free. So that's obviously a big plus. I'll do all of my emails. I'll reply to all the comments. I'll start writing stuff for the website. And soon as I'm done producing the content, I usually go out and do a quick workout. So I'll take this along with me and I'll listen to either a podcast or an audiobook. And again, it's just the right size. I take it to my home gym. I'm running on the treadmill. I hate having earbuds in my ears or if I'm using headphones, I just don't like cords or having stuff on my head while I'm doing a workout. So this is the perfect companion for that. And then I just get back down to my writing desk, mop up any other work that needs to be done, and then I head out for the day. Now, the second thing that I liked about it is its versatility. Because yes, this can be used for a lot of casual listening applications, but other than that, you can also use it for DJing at home or when you're practicing. Let's say you are in your bedroom or you're at home and you don't have like a huge speaker monitor to run your mix through. Well, you can plug your controller into one of the audio input jacks here, and that means you can have latency-free wired connection. And if you've ever tried playing through a pair of Bluetooth speakers, you know that there's a microsecond lag in between uh, what you're playing and what you're hearing on the speakers. That's because of uh, Bluetooth. That's just uh, the way it is at the moment. So having the ability to connect this with a wire means that you can beat match and beat mix with greater precision because there is no latency between what you're playing and what's coming out of this speaker. Now, the third thing that I liked about it is its expandability. Because yes, the Mini Rig Mini is great on its own, but if you add another Mini Rig Mini, well, then you've got a true stereo playback system that you can take with you wherever you go. And you can connect them wirelessly via Bluetooth, or again, you can just use a wired connection if that's what you prefer. Now, if you want to add more bass to your Mini Rig Mini setup, you can also get the Mini Rig subwoofer, which is sold through the Mini Rig site, and that's going to add some serious low end to your portable playback system system. Now, the only thing that I didn't like about the Mini Rig Mini is that it's only got one button for operating the unit. And sometimes it can be a little bit confusing, especially if you aren't tech savvy. Let's say you just want to turn the unit on and then you want to pair it or you want to pair it with another Mini Rig Mini speaker or you want to access some of the more advanced features. Having one button can be a bit of a head scratcher at times, especially if you don't know what um, the various LED colors of the button mean. So yes, you're going to have to spend a little bit of time reading the inclusion product manual. But other than that, uh, it's not really a deal breaker. It is a minor gripe after all, especially compared to what you get out of this tiny little speaker.
So that's it for this talk through video. I've got a full review of the Mini Rig Mini over at the Digital DJ Tips site. Got a link to that in the description box below. I want you to hit the thumbs up icon if you like this video and hit the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber yet. If you're watching this on Facebook, please hit like and share this with your friends and even your enemies. My name is Joey. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna see you next time.